Hello, brothers and sisters. Israeli security cabinet votes to prevent the collapse of the Palestinian Authority. Of course, the world won't talk about this or how they're trying to make sure the Palestinian Authority actually exists and continues because that's, that's a good thing that they're doing. So that won't get any coverage. Israel security cabinet by a majority of eight to one with one abstention voted on Sunday evening to prevent the collapse of the Palestinian Authority adopting a draft decision submitted by Netanyahu. They're even willing to help fund them to keep them going. In the absence of a change in the national assessment, Israel will act to prevent the collapse of the Palestinian Authority while demanding that it cease its anti-Israel activity in the international legal diplomatic arena, the incitement in the media and education system, the payments to families of terrorists and murderers, and the illegal construction in Area C, the statement read. However, PA President Mahmoud Abbas, the guy who is supposedly always looking for someone to help them with peace with Israel, the ruling Fatah party has called for an armed intifada that would include indiscriminate attacks on all Israeli targets all over the country. Sounds like a man of peace to me too, right? If you bang your head really hard against a truck and then smash it into the ground so that you're not thinking straight, then he would definitely look like a really peaceful guy. Crazy world we're living in. In a recent published announcement, the Al Aqsa Martyrs Brigade, uh, Fatah's military wing, told members that the organization has received orders to escalate tensions with Israel and to prepare for open warfare. Told you, something big is coming. We call on all our fighters and military cells in every place in the West Bank to attack the Zionist enemy and all of its components, including within the fragile heart of the entity, Tel Aviv. Now, when they say the enemy, they mean women and children. They mean unarmed civilians on their way to synagogue. They mean absolute chaos and terror and stabbing and ramming attacks and murder. And will the United Nitwits say anything about that? No. Because we live in clown world. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem and pray for Israel. And keep looking up. God will deal with these people. Shalom.